Hey guys, I'm Tyson, this is Callie, and we're with Ag Aviation Adventures. Welcome to the Crop Duster Classroom. Today, we're talking spray patterns. Now, this is actually the second time we've talked about this because the first time we talked about it, or I talked about it, for 25 minutes. We both agreed no one wants to listen to me talk about spray patterns for 25 minutes. So we're trying to shorten this one down a little bit. We're talking three different patterns, probably the most basic as well as what most people I think are maybe using. Although there are other ones out there. I don't know what everyone runs. I just know what I like to run. So to begin with, let's talk about A points and B points. I did a video in the past that's already been published on the GPS and the light bar on this airplane. And that's kind of where I started talking about the spray pattern. People were asking about it. So now we're doing this video. When I'm talking about patterns, I'm going to mention A points as well as B points. All these are, is there points in space. And when I set up a pattern and start spraying a field, I'm putting down or I'm laying my A point and my B point, as well as a C depending on the pattern. What that means is on the stick, I literally click a button, I put my A point at the end of the field. When I'm done spraying at the end of the pass, I hit it again, I lay my B point. And what the GPS does is it literally draws a perfectly straight line between the A point and the B point. So if it was along this edge and I started spraying right here and I stopped spraying right there, it would lay a perfect line between those two points. Now, if I had a C point, which I will, cause we're gonna talk about it. And I come over to this edge of the field and I start spraying and I lay my C point. The GPS makes this C makes the line exactly parallel with my AB line. So that's why it's only one point. It's not drawing anything. It's just putting it over so many feet from this AB line. And that so many feet is gonna be wherever I lay it, but on this edge of the field. Also for this demonstration, we're gonna say that my swath width of the airplane is 70 feet. So for this first pattern, we're talking back to back. I'm gonna get out a different color because we're colorful and we like that kind of stuff. We're gonna use red here to kind of accent, accentuate, accent the color. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna lay our AB point along the edge of the field. So right when I dive into the field and I start spraying along the edge, I've hit my A point, spray, 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 get to the edge of the field hit my B point or the end of the field, hit my B point. At that point, it's going to, that's a lot of points. At that point, it's going to draw a straight line between my A and my B. Well, I now click my button again and it will move me over 70 feet. So I'm gonna make a turn, come back 70 feet over, start spraying again. Once I get done with that pass, click it, it's gonna move me over 70 feet. So now my light bar moves over 70 feet. I line back up with the lights. And when I start spraying, I'm 70 feet over. Now, something I don't like about this pattern is how it makes me turn. So for this demonstration, these are pretty far apart, but in reality, these lines, your passes are really close to each other as you're running them like this. So when you pull out of the field, you have to turn away from the pass and then kind of come back and then catch the next pass like that. When you come out, you turn away, come back and start spraying again. So your turns kind of end up looking something like this. And when you're fully loaded, these turns are really big and flat because the airplane doesn't necessarily want to fly that well when it's at max gross weight. And it, has a tendency to want to stall. So you have to kind of do these big flat, don't let me hit you in the face, do these big flat turns. Also, you're only moving over 70 feet. So the airplane can't turn in just a 70 foot width. So that's why you're having to kind of come way out and do them like that. I think it's a waste of time. I don't really like it. The only time that I find myself running back to back is if I'm spraying herbicide and I have a lot of really sensitive crops around the field, I will then usually run a back-to-back -back pattern working up against 
the crop that, it, let's say this crop will die with what I'm spraying, I'll work up against that crop like that. So I'll start spraying here and work back to back towards it. Every time smoking, making sure that the smoke is moving away from my sensitive crop. That's why I would run the back to back pattern. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the smoker, that's because you haven't watched the smoker video. So make sure to check that one out. Now, another popular one. I don't know. I don't know if it's popular. I don't know how many people run it. I can tell you I never run it, but I learned about it in school and it's on my GPS. It's called the squeeze. And so that should be something else I mentioned is that I'm running an M3 sat lock in this airplane. And so it comes with these patterns already on it. This is not something that I put into the airplane. It's already on the system. You just get to pick out of the eight patterns that it has what you want to run. So with the squeeze, again, you're gonna lay your A point and your B point along the edge of the field. But with this one, you're also going to go all the way to the opposite edge of the field and you're gonna lay your C point. Again, with that C point, it's just laying exactly parallel with your AB point just along that edge. So you come in, you start spraying on that first pass, click it. There's my A point at the end of the field, click it. There's my B. Now I'm gonna make this big turn, come over here, click it along that edge. That's my C. Now what this pattern ends up looking like is something like this. And it, that's why they call it a squeeze because I am running next to my previous pass every time. But as I'm doing that, it's getting narrower and narrower and eventually it's almost like you're running back to back, then you are running back to back, then it's done and you've completed the field. Now this is great because when you're fully loaded, you start spraying, you're making these big, wide, long, flat turns, which is great because you're not feeling like you're gonna fall out of the sky. But the problem is, is that eventually after you do four or five, I mean, if we're talking five gallon work and you do four or five passes, you've already gotten a lot of weight off of the airplane but you're still doing these big, wide, long passes. So you're kind of wasting time. And then at some point you start doing really narrow passes, which is more like that back-to-back -back pattern. And once you start doing that, you're making these turns where you come out and you're kind of having to do big turns like this to get back on your swath. And that is now a waste of time. So that's why we don't like it because there's really only a small, percentage of that pattern that you're running where in my mind it's not a waste of time. So what I usually end up running 99% of the time is what's called the racetrack pattern. And I will run this on everything. If it's a weird shape to a field or if it's a circle, um, anything like that. I mean, it's just where I end up running things. I'm very comfortable with it. That's probably why I run it all the time. So you lay your A point here along the edge. You lay your B point. You come over here, big, nice flat turn. You're fully loaded. You lay your C point, another big flat turn. You're fully loaded. Come back. And at this point, you've now laid three passes in the field and you're coming back out and it's going to bring you back towards the center of the field. So now, instead of making this big flat turn, you're making half the width of that turn. For me, that's gonna work out to be about 1,200 feet. So I come out of the field, click my button to look, come over to the next pass, 1,200 feet over. It's gonna put me right down about the center of the field. Click it when I come out. It's gonna come back to, towards that AB, and it's gonna start running a pattern that looks something like this until you go down the center of the field and you're done. Now, why I like this is because, again, it's always about 1,200 feet. It's always the same. So every time I get to my end of my pass, I click the button. I already know that I can do this nice, big, sweeping turn and catch my next pass in. I'm not having to guess how far out am I gonna have to fly to get back in and get on my swath like you would maybe an AB, uh, or if you're just running a back-to-back -back pattern. This is great because it's just consistent, which I really do like. So that is called the racetrack. 
In the last video, I talked about a couple other patterns that are out there that are also really handy, but we're not going to dive into those because I've already talked for like 15 minutes about these three patterns. So again, this is the one that I prefer. I run it on pretty much everything out there other than maybe if I'm running herbicide and there's a chance that I could possibly do the back-to-back -back that I had mentioned. I want to give Callie a big thanks because she held this board like no other. This field that is on here is also vinyl and she cut that out and did that. So again, this is her behind the scenes. You guys don't even know everything that she does. If you guys have any questions about these patterns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Now this conversation originally came from an Instagram story. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, check us out at Ag Aviation Adventures. And a lot of people said, hey, you should talk about this a little bit more. So here I am doing that. Also, Callie runs the Instagram for us. So if you like her and you wanna see more of her, check her out over there at Ag Aviation Adventures because she's always doing stories and always posting photos. And I don't know what the kids are doing over there these days, but she stays up on it. If you don't like me, you can still check it out though because it's like 99% airplane enticement. What's not to like though? Hey, thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson and this is Callie. We're with Ag Aviation Adventures. Fly low and fly fast.